Hi guys, so they say that the dogs in the street know that Boris Johnson is a liar. He's a compulsive liar. He's pathological in his lying. But what's extremely frustrating for me is that there are people on supposedly on our side which are letting him off the hook because of technicalities. They know that he's a liar, but they engage in this mental gymnastics, it seems, to allow him to be off the hook. Now, we know that he's a liar. He has lied in Parliament. I'm going to give you an example of him lying in Parliament in a moment. But let's hear from Sheila Fogarty, who should actually know better. And she's basically saying, well, you know, if Boris Johnson lies in Parliament, he'll be held to account. But he won't. And he hasn't been. But let's hear her exchange with the caller. So to go so on the record... Have you, do you think he lied today to Parliament, or do you well, are you un, 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 unwilling to make a judgment? No, I'm not unwilling to make a judgment. But but I don't know whether you heard Theo's report with me at the top of the program when he said the, the, Keir, Star, Steel, Keir Starmer's question was, "Are you able to tell the Commons whether you said this or not?" And Boris Johnson said no, and then moved on to talk about who might have said it. Was well, so you you should tell, you should say who said it. Um, because Keir Starmer, and I think Theo is right, he asked, he asked the wrong question. He said, are you able to tell the Commons? He didn't say, <clears throat> did you say it? And so yeah, um, arguably, please, and, and this is like court of law stuff, but arguably Johnson didn't lie, even if he said it. He, 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 was, he, he said, I did not say those words no, to didn't. another... Oh, earlier he, in the week, not yeah. Not to Starmer. Earlier no, in the no, week, today, To another pol politician. He said it today, some... Scottish politician, I can't remember the guy's name. He asked him the, asked him the question, said, I did not say those words. That was today, that happened. Are you talking about no. the question that Ian Blackford asked, which he was chastised about, because he said, did uh, you lie when you... He asked the Prime yes, Minister if he lied. Yes. Well, he was told he couldn't ask that question because of well, parliamentary language. But what, but what, what, we'll what's get, we'll the get, issue with the language there? Because you're, you're not allowed to accuse people of lying in the... <laughs> you're, not, you're not allowed to accuse people of lying in the House of Commons. Right. <laughs> anyway, let's let her continue. House of Commons. Well, that's ridiculous. If somebody's, if, if the Prime Minister, we can't accuse the Prime Minister of lying no, when should, there's evidence tell to you, suggest that he is lying. Well, well, no, to suggest is the key thing. The reason, the reason disallowing MPs from constantly calling each other liars, Matt, is that there is a standard, and it's a very serious standard in the House of Commons, that if you are found yeah. to have lied at that dispatch box or on your feet in the House of Commons, there are serious, serious sanctions as a result of that. And that's an important sanction. So the, the L word, as it's often called in, in the Commons, is something that cannot be thrown about lightly. Cannot be thrown about like so. Has Boris Johnson lied? Yes, he has. Here is an example of Boris Johnson lying. Okay, so I I think this is probably the worst lie that Boris Johnson has told. It's you know it's arguable. It can be argued about which is the worst lie. For me, this is probably the one of the worst. This is about Northern Ireland. This uh, this is from 2019. Boris Johnson on a border. In the island on the island of Ireland, border in the Irish Sea, the position of the UK within this is 2019. This is not 2015. This is not 10 years ago. This is two years ago. Boris Johnson, listen carefully. Boris Johnson on Northern Ireland, where a border was going to go, where the what's the situation with the customs union. Uh, Mr. Speaker, let's be absolutely clear that the, the United Kingdom is preserved whole and entire by these arrangements and indeed the whole of the UK will be allowed to come out of the European Union Customs Union so that we can do free trade deals together. There will be no, there will be no checks between Northern Ireland and GB and there will be no tariffs, there will be no tariffs between Northern Ireland and, and there will be no tariffs between Northern Ireland and GB because we have protected the Customs Union. And I may say, Mr Speaker, this, this, this lacrimose defence of the Union... Uh, as I and then he goes on to criticise uh, Jeremy Corbyn. Now, Boris Johnson at this moment in time knew that Northern Ireland would remain part of the single market. And he knew that the UK as a whole would not come out of the single market and the customs union. 
So he was lying in Parliament. Now, has Boris Johnson returned to Parliament and said, I'm sorry, back in 2019 I made a mistake and I'd like to apologise? He hasn't. So Sheila Fogart's, Fogarty's suggestion that there, you, you shouldn't be calling people liars because it's extremely serious and if, you, if you know, somebody does lie in Parliament, they will be punished. Well, Boris Johnson has not been punished. He has lied. This is just one example. I think it's an important example. But he has lied on numerous occasions and he has never been held to account for it. He has never returned, as far as I know, if somebody can find an example of it, I'd love to see it. But he hasn't returned to Parliament and said, I made a mistake and correcting the record. Keir Starmer did correct the record some weeks ago. Boris Johnson has not. So when people who are supposed to be on our side, like Sheila Fogarty, who say, look, you know, if Boris Johnson does something wrong, he'll be held to account. This is absolute BS. Because he's not been held to account. He has not been held to account on, in, in any way in Parliament. He's free to tell lies. And he's free to get away with it. At what stage will people understand that the tools that you have in Parliament don't work? You need to find new ones. And I congratulate and applaud Ian Blackford for asking the question, Prime Minister, are you a liar? Because it forced Boris Johnson to answer the question. Well, uh, it, it put in, it, it laid out in a sense what everyone was thinking. We all know that he's a liar. At least he's been called out on it. He's not going to be punished in the House of Commons for being a liar. He hasn't. He's going to get away with it. And he's going to continue to get away with it. Now, as I said before, what is the function of Parliament? What is the point in asking questions if the Prime Minister and other ministers don't actually answer the questions? It's just a waste of time. What are these people being paid 70, 80, 000, 90 over and more thousand pounds a year. What are they paid for? What is the point of it if they don't do their job? Can you, can you imagine any other situation where somebody is not doing their job and they don't get punished for it? Th think about yourself. Imagine your own situation, whatever. I don't know what, your jo what job you're doing, but you know what, you, what, you, what your job is. Imagine for a period of time you don't actually do your job. Would you get paid or would you get fired? Your boss or the administration or whatever would hold you to account if you were not doing your job and you would be kicked out in most cases. But when it comes to Parliament, you can lie, you can cheat, you can ignore the questions, you can ridicule the other side and you can get away with it. Please tell me what's the point of that. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?